anyone can start a fire with matches or a lighter. But if you really want to impress your mates and get one going even in the rain, I'm going to show you a great way to do it. G'day and welcome to Intense. I'm Alex Garner and you are about to become a fire master. But first, we're going to need some tinder. So tinder is where your fire begins, and then you go up to kindling, and then you go to your big bunt of burner logs. This here would suffice as tinder. What you're looking for in tinder is something that's uh, very dry and very fine, that's going to catch a spark easily. It can be something like this dry grass, uh, sometimes you find certain mosses growing in the tops of trees, um, very dry leaf matter, paperbark trees is something you'd find quite easily around an area like this. Um, if we're talking outside of natural things, toilet paper does a good job. Um, char cloth, uh, which is basically rags which have been put inside of a tin and allowed to smoke into a char. There's a lot of different things, uh, might be worth looking up what's available in your area. For me, this grass will do the job. By the way, if you learn anything from this video, even if it's uh, that Tinder is something more than just a horrible dating app, make sure you go down to the bottom there, click the thumbs up, give us a like, and subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Now in the start there, you heard me mention kindling. Got our Tinder, let's go more into the kindling. So kindling can be classed pretty much as uh, twigs, anything maybe smaller than a finger. The thing about Tinder, much like romances from that horrible dating app, is it burns through really quickly. So, got to have your kindling on hand, ready to go. Once you get your Tinder going, you're going to need to be feeding kindling onto it to really build up that fire and get enough heat to put into those big logs. If you just go and throw your big burners on there, well they're not going to burn because your Tinder will burn out before it can have a chance to catch the logs. And that's the tip. Just build up your sizes of wood slowly to really get it going. Okay, unfortunately I'm running out of tinder jokes, so I think it's time to talk about our ignition source. This thing is known as a fire steel or a ferrocerium rod, uh, might even be called a flint sometimes. And this one is done by Grab Me Gear of a West Australian brand. Uh, they're generally a lot smaller than this, maybe only that big. A uh, good survival tool because they'll start a fire anywhere and they're quite easy to carry and they don't run out until you've shaved through the whole thing I suppose. This one being three times longer than that, you can get a lot more throw and a lot more sparks out of it. And I've actually got a deal for you if you want to get your hands on your own. If you go to grabmegear.com, uh, purchase one of these or anything throughout the store, uh, it's valid across the whole website. Use the code INTENSE10, that'll get you 10% off your own fire starting rod and there'll be a kickback to intense off-road as well so you'll be helping the channel but anyway i'll put all that down in the description the links and everything you can follow that over there i'm going to show you how we get this thing going now with fire steels uh, you want to get right in close to your tinder the problem i've found uh, over a few times of doing this is when you strike like that i've actually been that close to the ground that i've knuckle dusted the dirt and got blood knuckles so if you've got a knife or something that you can hold stationary, I prefer to hold the, uh, the back end of the knife on an angle and pull the steel away. That way you can't bust your knuckles because you're pulling it away. But you don't really always want to carry a knife with you. When you get your fire steel, it's covered in this black here, and that stuff won't strike. So you've just got to keep striking a few times, and now you can see sparks are happening. So it it just takes a little bit of wearing in. Now, we just get some sparks going. Oh, look at that. You might have to manhandle it a bit. And then the kindling starts going on. The secret is in the airflow. Don't chuck everything on and smother it. You've got to really build it up and let the air get in. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. The fire's going, but you're not. There's a few more tips left. If you're starting your fire in wet weather, 
you've got a job ahead of you. Again, that tinder, you need to find some nice dry stuff. So look underneath logs, um, tops of tree branches, dry leaves, that sort of thing. Your kindling is gonna be the same sort of uh, task. You can generally look for twigs around on the ground, um, try and find some that are sheltered or break uh, dry, broken twigs off the tops of the trees. From there, once you get a flame going, you gotta try and sort of dry out your wood. So what I like to do, uh, if you don't have a fire pit, the fire pit's not so good for that. If you've got it on the ground, you just stack your wood around the fire and your fire will slowly dry it out and then you can feed it on. Again, you saw how quickly it all moved once I got the spark in there onto that tinder. So make sure you've got everything laid out and ready. And that's your next key. Once that spark takes, you might have to even pick up your tinder and blow in there a bit, get the air moving. And then you pile on your little twigs, lots of air around it, and just keep stacking it on gently. Don't smother it. Follow those tips and you'll look like a pro in front of all your mates. Make sure you click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tips in the future. Cheers.